Welcome to Grub and Chugging. On this episode of Grubbin' with Cold Moo, we have three uh, different drinks. One a cider, two are beers. They include Joker Heart Cider, Mango Weezin, and Kelpie Seaweed Ale. It's the seaweediest. Brewed with natural flavor. <laughs> uh, they really wait. need like a little cartoon seaweed mascot named Kelpie. Yeah. That would, I think that would sell it. Our first beer is Mango Weezen by Northwest Brewing Company. Yeah, I've already had this before and uh, nothing, nothing but fine things to say about it. It is 5% ABV. The smell is the most disconcerting thing about it to me. Yeah, yeah. it kind of smells like farts. Yeah. Oh wait, no, that was just me. It does is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Never mind. <laughs> It doesn't smell like much of anything, but uh, right after you take a pull, like halfway in there, it, it actually starts had to, to me. It has good. like a slight metallic tint to it. To I'm the, not sure if the it's aroma, the beer, the it glass. might be the glasses. <laughs> I kind of no, there's a metal rim really on there, isn't there. <laughs> it's just a good half to begin with. Mm. Nice half flavor, and then the the mango really does bring something to the table. Most halves are served with fucking oranges anyway, so like the fruit and the beer thing isn't mm -hmm. necessarily bad. It, it, and it's, I don't know, it, it complements it well. You'll find like a dozen uh, hefts that are on the market that are flavored with orange or with lemon. And they do a really good job. You know, they taste great. Um, this one is, you know, something singular that just sort of caught my eye and I am pleasantly surprised. I'm going to give this one an eight and a half. Mm -hmm. This is pretty good. I really enjoy this. I'm going to go all the way nine on this one. Oh! It is an amazing beer. This is the fourth time I bought it, so you know it keeps me coming back to the table. It's got to be good stuff. The bird's deal, the deal. It's not necessarily like my favorite style of beer. Yeah. So in that sense... It's got a proper amount of yeast <clears throat> in the bottom of it, too. Way to just derail the conversation, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I do what like I do. Something shiny. <laughs> so I'll give it a 7-8. Right on. You, sir, are wrong. <clears throat> Our second drink of the night is Ace Joker Heart Cider. And this one comes in at 6.9%. This will be a nice palate cleanser. Yeah. It's got an interesting aroma to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, <clears throat> strong. Yes. What? Oh, weird. Mm. Yeah. I like that a lot. Oh, there's a lot Ooh, going on there. that's very champagne-y. It's champagne, but like, it, there's, it's, it's super tart up in front, and then like, it turns into like sucking on a Jolly Rancher or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. Some really strong sour notes, like that last. It's persisting mm -hmm. in my mouth. Oh, and when you sour it, all the apple comes in it. It's uh -huh. like eating an a airhead or something. And the alcohol is really smooth in this. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's going down like water. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting like a really strong champagne, like an apple-y champagne flavor at the front, but then it just kind of finishes off and is flat and bitter to me. Oh, really? No, I'm, I'm getting like apples in the end. Yeah, it's, it's very, it's very <clears throat> tart. It's uh, like those it's like a crab apple. apple. Yeah, crab apple or like yeah. the, green, the really tart green ones. I'm giving this one an eight and a half. Yeah. I like it. I yeah. really like it. I'm going to give this one a nine. I really, really enjoy this one. Wow. Wow. I got to give it a really high 8.5. Um, it's really super nice. If you are into ciders at all, this will probably be one of your favorites as well. And our final drink of the night, Kelpie Seaweed Ale. This is made by William Bros Brews and comes in at 4.4%. Thanks, Billy Brothers. <laughs> oh, look at that color. Oh, this is going to be bad. <laughs> oh, hold up, bad. bad. It fuck is. It kind of it kind of smells like a bock. Hold Low it up tide. to your ear. Can you yeah. hear it? Oh, I hear the ocean. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> this kind of smells Whoa, holy bloody fuck, what the hell is that? It's very, very smoky. Yeah. It's super smoky. Super smoky. Whoa. I was not expecting that flavor. It's a little coffee flavor. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a porter stout. Yeah. And it, like you can kinda get like the coffee when you smell it and stuff, but that smokiness, that that flavor is weird. But it's not I don't know, like, I've had a lot of smoky beers where the smoke, like, interferes with the flavor to me. It tastes too fake or too strong. And this one, the smokiness kind of just flows right into it and out of it and doesn't really bother me. Um, There's a, a really strong bitter that lasts. And it's like, it's that burnt coffee. Yeah. Like, it's, it's still persisting in my mouth. Uh, it's very, like, 
very well flavored beer, and I bet this would go great with something. I'm trying to think, like a beef stew mm. or mm. something like that. There's nothing wrong with it. No, no, absolutely no. not. No, but it's... and there's no like weird flavor in there that, to me at least, yeah. any seaweed. No, there's no identifiably kind of like seaweed flavor or anything. Like I said, like it, it, like it's watery. That's about the closest thing that I can get, like the after f flavor. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It just it rounds off really weird. Yeah, exactly. It it rounds off in a way that I wouldn't expect the initial flavor to do. It's interesting. Uh, would I go back to this beer? Probably not. No. Uh, Kelpie, if you had a cute mascot, a little seaweed mascot, <laughs> maybe I might come back. Yeah. Try something else, but no. Big eye, winky guy. But it's like... still, it's still decent. I mean, I'll, I'll give it six and a half. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's, uh, um, yeah, six. Six is pretty, pretty solid one on this one, I think. Well, for me... Six is something I'd probably buy again, and this beer is getting a 5.5. See, um, like, I, I, short. I could see this beer being one of those that, like, yeah, you might not buy it all the time, but every now and then you're just like, you know what, I'm going to buy me a Kelpie beer. This has been Grubbin' with Colt Moo. Thank you for watching.